American and coalition forces on one side, rabid insurgents on the other. Caught in the middle? The Iraqi people, their voices not often heard amid this steady stream of attacks. Now using inventive information gathering techniques, a college radio show aiming to give greater depth to their story. In a Fox report from Rick Leventhal. From Swarthmore College, this is War News Radio. This is not your typical college radio show. That's finally, and, and it captures what's going on. Forget alternative music. These Swarthmore, Pennsylvania students offer weekly in-depth reports on Iraq. When the Olympic flame arrived in Torino on Friday, there was no one to carry the Iraqi flag. Using telephones and an internet service called Skype, they talked to soldiers and citizens, not so much about car bombs and kidnappings, but issues the big networks don't cover. You're going to miss some of the smaller stories, you know, the, what it's like to live there, what it's like for Iraqi civilians, what, you know, what daily life is like. And we can do that. Four to five minute pieces focus on the CEO of the Iraqi Stock Exchange, a contractor in Hilla, the father of a girl killed at a checkpoint, and a soldier working one of those checkpoints. Four minutes of sound, three minutes of you. Advisor Marty Goldenson, an NPR veteran, says the show has no agenda. I thought maybe it was going to be kind of anti-war organization. I, I, when I walked in, it turned out there's a wide range of, of politics, but the politics seem to be irrelevant. The students are thinking more about what's true and what's not true, and how can I find out? Of course, Swarthmore is a long way from the Sunni Triangle, and some skeptics may question how a group of college kids outside of Philadelphia can accurately report on a war zone some 6,000 miles away. Well, some of the folks here say not being there actually helps. We can call somebody who wouldn't be willing to speak face to face with an American reporter. We can call somebody in a neighborhood that it isn't safe for an American reporter to visit. War News Radio began with a modest budget and modest goals, but the future looks bright. It's now playing on a dozen stations across the U.S., Australia, and Italy, and could expand to 50 outlets by the end of the year. I'm Scott Tanner for War News Radio. In Swarthmore, Pennsylvania, Rick Leventhal, Fox News.